my channel. Happy Sunday evening. I hope you guys are all doing good. Give me a shout out. Let me know if you're here. Um, I'm super excited to sew up this cute little wallet tonight. I've been looking forward to doing this. It's called For Your Cheddar and um, it's super cute. It's by KMG Handmade. Um, super sweet girl, Kristen. She should be on here. Um, we'll wait a few minutes and let everybody join. I have most of my pieces cut and prepped, so it should go pretty smoothly, I hope. I've never made this wallet before, so this will be my first time going through it, so you will get to experience that with me. <laughs> hi, Brenda. Hi, Carol. Hi, Anne. Lexi. Yay. Hi, Margaret. There she is. There's the designer. She's here. Awesome. If you have any questions, the designer is on this chat. She can answer. It'll be great. All right. Yay. Okay. Let's talk about this cute little wallet. Um, I'm going to show you a picture just on my computer real quick because I haven't made one yet. <laughs> But this is the wallet we're making. It's super cute. It folds out flat. It's got, I think, eight card slots. It's got a zipper pocket. And it folds into this cute little handheld wallet. Um, hello, everybody. It is very minimal hardware, which I love. Hi, Nicole, I haven't seen you in forever. I hope you're good, yay, stranger. Um, all you need for this cute wallet is a zipper. That's it, that's all the hardware you need. So it's a great scrap buster if you have just some fabric lying around that you wanna make something out of. This is a great little thing to do, so I'm excited to do it. Yay, we got a good group going. Okay, hopefully Sunday evening, people are kind of winding down, ready to watch something, right? Hi, everybody. All right, um, as I always say in my lives, if I don't see a question and I don't answer it, please ask again. I'm trying to sew something up, so sometimes I miss questions that are asked. I try the best I can to look up and read as I go, but I will miss questions every once in a while. So if it's something you really want answered, ask it again if I miss it. Okay. Here we are. Yay. Okay. So I am going to prep my zipper and I'm going to prep my strap. All the interfacing you need for this is for the cotton material. I'm using a cotton for my inside lining pieces with just a woven cotton interfacing on it. And then I'm using one piece of vinyl for my outside and then one little piece of vinyl for this strap. For the strap, you just fold in your raw edges and then we're gonna put those together and sew them so you can kind of see the little accent of the cotton on the front and that will be on the front of the bag. I'm also going to be putting rivets in this, I think, because I, I really like the look of that. So the pattern, look in the description, please. I linked the pattern and um, Kristen, the designer, has also offered a 15% discount on the pattern if you use Saya Swag Live 15, I believe. Is that correct? I'm pretty sure that's it. I put it down in the description. So go get the pattern, get it for 15% off till the end of March. And let's make this wallet. Okay, let's go. I'm gonna move the camera in here. Hello, hi Tina. Mike, how's my pupper doing? She's doing amazing. Come in. Hi baby girl. Hi. Everybody say hi to Charlotte. Hi. Oh, there's Charlotte. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Let's I'm gonna start. Be your you are? Yeah. Okay. I'm going to be one of your fans. You're going to be one of my fans tonight? Yeah. Perfect. I'll watch all the sewing stuff and see how the back okay. turns out. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. 
Love you. Okay, so I have my strap pieces. I did put some double-sided tape on the back of one of them. Get my trash can over here so I'm not throwing everything on the floor. Okay, so you're just gonna kind of center this onto the cotton piece and I'm just going to top stitch down each side of this vinyl. Super simple and this will be my little, it holds the flap in place and it's for your hand too if you wanna carry it with your hand. All right, I have always loved the name Charlotte too. That's why I named her Charlotte. Okay, here we go. So we're gonna just top stitch this. Just a minute, this is a little crooked to me. Zoop. And as I said in the pattern, she has the option of putting rivets as an accent on this, which I think I'm gonna do because I really like the look of that. Let me know how the whole angle is for you guys. We'll go right there. Okay. And then I'll come back down. She is pretty cute. Thank you, Cindy. All right, so there's my simple little handle for the outside of it. All right, so we're gonna do the zipper tabs. Now, I really am digging the way that she does these zipper tabs, you guys. It's super cool. I don't know. I guess I've just never done a pattern where they have been like this before. So you get your zipper right side up and get your zipper tab right sides together, okay? Right there. And you're gonna fold this to the back, okay? And you're gonna overlap these pieces in the back. All right, I'm gonna clip that on there. Weird, right? But watch what happens, it's super cool. <laughs> I really like how this works. Maybe there's other patterns out there like this, but I haven't ever sewn one like this before, okay. So I'm gonna do the same thing with this one. I'm gonna fold it to the back, fold it to the back. How many of you already know like what's gonna happen with this? Hi, Lisa. All right, so you got your zipper tabs folded on like that, right? So what we're going to do is we're going to sew on the ends here. Just a second, I need to see what my seam allowance is real quick. Like I said, I have not sewn this before, so I'm reading this as I go. Okay, so I'm gonna sew along these ends at a 3 8 inch seam allowance, okay? Here we go. All right, and then my other end here. <laughs> You've done it before? Well, I've never done this. Okay, so now that this is sewn on, watch this. We fold them back up. And look how, uh, how nice that is. That is super cool because normally when you do zipper tabs, you don't have to worry about this inside part, right? Like that's not gonna be seen. It's gonna be sewn into your bag. I also thought you could probably go like, like that and fold it down if you wanted to have no raw edge in there. Anyways, how cool is that? All right, I'm gonna do it. Look at that. Oh my goodness, so you could take it to your iron if you want. I don't think I'm going to, I'm just gonna kind of press it with my fingers. And now we're gonna top stitch 
along our zipper tab. Super cool. <laughs> what is this magic? I know, it's the coolest thing I've ever seen, basically. <laughs> it does not take much to amuse me anymore. So cool. All right. Marcatron Gaming is my son, Marcus, guys. Everybody say hi to Marcus. And yes, it has been snowing here all day long. I got a tutorial filmed and now I'm doing a live. I'm very productive when it's snowing outside. Yep, you're gonna cut off the raw ends, doesn't matter. How cool is that little trick for a zipper? I just thought that was super neat. Okay, <laughs> now that I'm done being amazed by that, we are going to just add this handle. Okay, so here is my outside piece and I'm just going to baste on my handle real quick. And how far up? Okay, there we go. So measure up, it's in the pattern. I'm gonna put little markings where I need to add this. Actually, let me get my other pen. That one doesn't write great on vinyl. All right, and you wanna baste your handle on. I've never done a zipper tab that way, guys. I love it so much. Okay, you want it to hang off just a little bit, maybe by like a half an inch. All right. And it's not going to be flat against. You do want it to just like bow up just the tiniest bit so it has room for your wallet to stick in there. So I'm just going to baste that down. All right. And then I'm going to go to the other side here. Um, these patterns from uh, KMG Handmade right? I'm saying that right. Yes. KMG handmade her pictures and her description of everything. Very well written guys. She does a great job explaining everything. If you haven't ever checked out any of her patterns, you should go do that. What about the rivets? You add the rivets at the end. I suppose you could add them, um, at the beginning too. If you wanted to, I'm going to add mine at the end. It's super easy to get under here and put rivets on after the wallet's sewn. So it's up to you, really. Okay, so you see how my handle kind of comes up just a little bit? I want that, that's good. That's not a mistake. All right, let's see. Here we go. So I have already put all of my lines on these linings. Okay, I'm gonna show you real quick. So, you have two big pieces. This is all that the wallet is. It's just these two pieces and the outside, okay? Um, I have already folded and pressed mine for sake of time. She has all the measurements for the markings and she calls them mountains and valleys, okay? A mountain means it folds up like this and a valley means it goes down here, okay? I mean, super easy, right? Mountain, valley, mountain, valley. So as you are marking your piece, you can just put an M and a V by each of them to know, okay, this one's a mountain. I got to fold it this way. This one's a valley. I got to fold it this way. Um, I think it's pretty cool how she explains it. The other way you could do it too is all the mountains you mark on the front and all the valleys you could mark on the back. And then you could do it accordion style, flipping it front and back. So anyways, okay, so I have all of my folds into my wallet. These are going to be my card slot area here. And then this one, these are my card slot areas here. So I need to top stitch these two card slots and these two card slots, all right? So we will go ahead and do that. I'll move it back in real quick. 
I just wanted to zoom you out so you could see that. <clears throat> Hi, D. All right. Sorry, I'm just reading. All right, here we go. So I am going to top stitch my card slots right here first along both of these lining pieces. Am I right? Yes, I am right. Hi, Mary. Thank you. Thanks for joining. I love new little wallets. It's fun to make wallets. They're very um, satisfying because you can just begin and end all in one sitting and you have a finished product. They're super fun. I love finding new wallet patterns. My goal is to do more of them. All right, so those are my two card slots for this side, okay? Now I'm gonna move to this other piece. The other thing she suggests is if you have any kind of tag that you want to put it right here um, on this spot, which I did. Mm, that's a great little spot for it. All right, I'm gonna top stitch these two card slots. Cindy, it is a, I filmed a new bag for a designer today. I, I can't say yet, but you'll find out. <laughs> this would make a great little gift, this wallet right here. I think it would be a perfect little gift wallet. Okay. So I have my card slots top stitched. The next thing you wanna do, you wanna lay these out on this fold right up here and on this fold right down here, you wanna put a row of double-sided tape. So I have my double-sided tapes on the bottom of this one and on the top fold of this one, okay? Is that right? That's what's next. Yes. All right. I got to move it back out again. Sorry. I need a bigger space for this wallet. Okay. Let's get our zipper here. We want our zipper pull to the left. We want this piece down here. Can you kind of get what I'm doing already? And I want this piece up here. All right, so where that tape is, is where our zipper's gonna go. We're gonna put the zipper right here in between these two linings. It's so cool how she has this piece together. So we are, we are going like that, all right, with our two linings. So cool. All right, so I'm gonna take this off. I'm gonna double check that I have this laying the right way. Yes, I do. All right, here we go. Hi, Cindy, welcome. Michelle, you promised mom a flare crossbody. Oh, you can do it. Practice on something cheaper first before you use the good stuff. That would be my suggestion. <laughs> All right, so try and center this along this zipper here. I'm just eyeballing as best I can. All right, so there's the first half. I'm gonna turn this like that. Hi, Brittany. Yay, Nicole's on here too. This fabric is from Hawthorne Threads. I think it's a Riley Blake print. I want to say it's a Riley Blake. I absolutely love it. One of the tutorials I'm doing later this week, I'm using this for the lining. It's so cute. All right. And then try and match these up the best you can. 
All right, look at that. So now I have one big piece. So I'm going to top stitch down each side of this zipper. All right, here we go. I was trying to find a fabric for this inside that wasn't a directional print. So I didn't have to stress about knowing which direction everything was going. And I'm glad I didn't uh, use a directional print. This is perfect. Oh, Brittany, thank you. Brittany linked it right there in the comments if you're curious about the fabric. Dodging tornadoes in Arkansas. Oh, goodness. Stay safe. We just have snow. <laughs> now your zipper tabs are going to be longer than the wallet. That is how it is designed. All right. Um, I'm always about new fabrics. Sorry, Ella. <laughs> Buy all the fabrics. Okay. So how cool is that? Now, this is what you should be looking at, right? Oh my gosh. Let me see. There we go. And there we go. So your zipper is now in the middle. All right. Your friend Kathy, Kristen says, your friend Kathy reminded you today it is the one year anniversary of your first pattern, pattern release, the Compass Crossbody Bag. That's awesome. Yay, happy year anniversary. It's the designer's year anniversary for her first pattern. That's super cool. All right, so the next thing we need to do is separate our card slots. So I am going to just line everything up like this. I have an addiction to fabrics. I always feel like I never have the right fabric, so I always have to buy more. <laughs> oh, it's bad. All right. So we need to separate the two. So let's find the middle. Measure it out. Okay. About right there. And then we need to do the same thing for this section of card slots as well, which I think it goes up like this, okay? I'm just putting those so everything stays in place. Mark the center. Ah! No, you can never have too much fabric. You are correct. <laughs> All right, so now we wanna separate these card slots. I'm gonna do two, I'm gonna go up and down. I like to do a double line usually when I'm doing card slots, just what I prefer. All right, and then I'm gonna come back down. <laughs> the more fabric, the better, Mary. That's right. <laughs> okay. 
And I'm gonna do the same thing for this one. Oh no, I caught my pocket in the bottom of it. Just on this one. I'm gonna have to unstitch that. See, this is what you get when it's my first time. So when you're doing this, make sure that you move up the um, pocket so you're not sewing it into your card slot. That would be good. All right. There we go. So I'm going to have to just go over these stitches real quick and make sure they don't unravel where I picked them. It's fine. It's fine, guys. It's fixable. I'm just going to sew over that real quick to make sure that doesn't come undone. Beautiful. <laughs> you just did that too? Perfect. <laughs> so don't sew in your pocket when you do that. All right, so we have our card slot separated. Here, let me put this down. We have our card slot separated, our zipper on. Let's see what our next step is. We're gonna sew the pocket together. So flip it so it's wrong side up. You're gonna take these pocket um, panels here and we're gonna clip those together. And we are going to sew along those at a 3 8 seam allowance. Here we go. Stabbed my arm with my seam ripper. <laughs> Hello, Deborah. Okay, so our pocket is sewn. What do we do now? We're gonna fold this up. Hopefully, I have this all correct. So this zipper folds up. And where does it go to? It lines up with the is that right? Put the panel on the top set of the card slots. All right. So this lines up with this top set of the card slots right there. So cool. I'm digging the construction of this. This is really cool. Guys, this is such a quick little sew. I'm loving this. All right. So I'll put this one up at the top as well. Right here. Everything's kind of clipped into place there. Look at that. Isn't that cool? So that's how it's going to be when it's all unfolded. You got your card slots here, your zipper pocket here, another slip pocket here, and four more card slots. That is super neat. All right. Now we're going to baste up these sides. Yeah, super unique construction. I really love it. All right. So I'm going to baste my sides up here. 
Make sure my card slots are where they need to be here. All right, and there's one side. Trim all my little threads sticking out here. And then I am going to baste down this other side here. You know what I love about making bags and wallets is just when you think you have made everything, every way it can be made, you learn something new. Like seriously, this is so cool. All right, <laughs> here we go. Um, the designer is KMG Handmade. There's a link in the description below and there's a 15% off coupon as well. All right, so we are almost done already. That's how, that's how quick this is, this is crazy. Okay, I am gonna trim down my little tabs here. Like for reals, it probably took me maybe 30 minutes to prep these pieces before I started the video. And I mean, it's taken me what, 30 minutes to this point? Super quick wallet, guys. All right, so you want your zipper pull in the middle here. And hopefully I'm doing this all correct. <laughs> so we wanna lay it right side with the exterior. And I'm just going to start clipping this all on. Um, she does suggest to cut a bigger exterior piece and you can trim it down. Like I'll have to trim it down just a little bit and that's good. That is good if you um, need to trim down your exterior piece. That will most likely happen. All right. There we go. Actually, yeah, that's fine. I'm a little bit off, just a minute. I don't like that. I'm gonna move mine over just a little bit right there. Just clip, clip, clip. Get it all on there. I am going to just trim this exterior down just a tiny bit up here at the top. as I can there. How do you get to the other card slots? They are behind the zipper pocket. The zipper pocket is a slip pocket and a zipper pocket and behind it are the other card slots. I'll show you again when it's open. All right. Okay, so we want to sew around this at a fourth, one fourth of an inch. We are not sewing the bottom. We're leaving that open. So probably about this much open. You don't need a lot. I mean, 
I don't think you do. And I'm going to sew from the vinyl side. All right. Ready? Here we go. Um, I'm going to sew at a kind of an angle, too, at a 90-degree angle in and on. Just like that. Am I missing any questions? Sorry, I'm concentrating. <laughs> All right, we're good. All right, I'm almost to the end here. everything it looks good I'm gonna trim this off I'm gonna trim some stuff down here I want to trim my edges my corners right for trimming for turning hi Cheryl welcome why is it called the cheddar wallet I'm guessing because money is sometimes called your cheddar and it was a clever name. I like it. Cheddar's probably not a slang term for money everywhere. So, <laughs> but it, I have heard of it here. <laughs> okay, so I've kind of trimmed my corners. We are going to turn this wallet out, right? Yep, here we go. Let's see what we got. Mouse Boots 46. My sojo is in disarray. I pushed aside a project in frustration. It's me, not the designer. Day two of what was supposed to be a twin. Oh, tiny little cork wallet. I'm so sorry, that's frustrating. I think we have all been there. Could you bind it closed? Um, you probably could. Yeah? I wouldn't see why not. Um, let me get my little tool here. Is, the mar is it margarita time? I don't know. Is it Dawn? Sure. All right. So someone was asking where that second set of pocket or um, card slots is. It's right there behind your zipper pocket. All right. I'm just going to fold this and show you what it's going to look like. That's going to be sewn shut. And this comes in just like that. Isn't that cute? Oh my gosh. That is adorable. Okay, so we got a couple of things that we have to do still. Here we go. 
Yay. All right. So we want to top stitch around our flap. All right. But we don't want to go past our zipper tabs. Okay. So we're just doing the flap. I'm just kind of pushing this out with my I wonder if you could put just a tiny bit of extra interfacing on your front flap. I bet you could. Just maybe a little bit of Decaville light, as long as it folds in there nicely. That might be a good little addition to that. Would waterproof canvas be too thick for the lining? Um, I think it would, just because of the way that this is all constructed along here. I think if it was waterproof canvas, it might get a little too thick, but I don't know. Kristen, have you ever made it with waterproof canvas? I'm not sure. Yes, I would think this is domestic machine friendly because we're not sewing over the thick parts here. We're just doing this flap, and then we will be doing right here, and then we will be closing up the bottom here. So you're not sewing over these thicker seams along the side. So I would think it's domestic machine friendly, yes. All right, so we're going to top stitch our um, flap, okay? Now I... Need to move this out so I can get my drawer. I should not keep my stuff in my drawer here. Oh, she is, but is that for your inside or for your outside, Kristen, the waterproof canvas you're using? She is doing waterproof canvas right now on one, so maybe she can tell us. I am backing, I'm putting something behind my foot here because it's got that zipper um, tab hump and my walking foot will just eat that right up if I don't protect it. Okay. So we're just going to do the flap top stitch here. And if you didn't want me back stitching right there, you could always pull your threads through to the other side and tie them. Perfect. All right, and then we're just going to try and make that as even as we can along there. Okay, so that's my top stitching along my front flap. There's the back and the front. All right, so the next step, we need to mark down here, which, let me read for a second. We're gonna be putting two lines of stitching here. Measure from the top of the zipper tabs. three and a four. So you're measuring from the top of the zipper tab here to right here, which is actually the line where you have this fold. Okay, so that's my first line. And then I'm gonna do another line right next to it. Okay, so two lines on the bottom. I can do that. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Let me roll out the seam a little bit. Actually, you know what? I need to mark that on the other side. I wanna sew from the top 
vinyl because I don't want it to rip under my walking foot. So I'm marking it on this other side here too. All right, where did I have that? Right there. And right here. So there's my first line. And then right next to it, you wanna do a second line. Okay, perfect. So that is my stitch line. I'm gonna follow that. all the way across the bottom of it. Hopefully I'm doing this right. <laughs> I think I am. Okay, here we go. Hi, Pamela. Saya, can you use upholstery threads to make bags? Um, yeah, that's pretty much what we use is upholstery threads, so yes. All right, and then I'm doing another one right next to that, another row of stitching. done. Yes. Thank you, Brittany. She linked that silver marking pin that I use. It's amazing. It's from Lauren Mormino and it's the best thing ever. Okay. So I've got my two rows of stitching right there and that kind of marks where the bottom of your wallet is, right? So it folds kind of right there. So the last thing, well, Second to last thing I need to do is top stitch this bottom closed here. All right. I want to get it as even as possible so it doesn't look funky. So just take some time folding it nicely in. My vinyl is so nice and soft that it's very pliable. All right, I think that looks pretty good, hopefully. All right, so I'm gonna top stitch that, right? Double check everything, yes. Here we go. Oh my gosh, this is the cutest little wallet. Hi, Cindy. All right, look at this, you guys. Here's my inside. All done. Card slots, zipper pocket, slip pocket, more card slots. Folds up, very simple, tucks in. Oh my gosh. So I did have the thought you could totally add a snap if you wanted to. You could even add a snap right here. That'd be cute. You could snap it to this and it would kind of secure everything. You know what? I think I'm going to do that. <laughs> 
Should we try that? Should we try adding a snap right there? I think that would make it more secure too if you were worried about it falling open if you put a tiny little snap right here on your flap. Let's try that real quick. Let me get my snap stuff. You can also add a line of top stitching on the flap above the zipper if you want to. It gives it a nice, oh, okay. Oh, Kristen, so like right here, you could add another row of stitching. I like that idea. You could add another row of stitching right here. Okay, I'm gonna get stuff to do a snap real quick. We could either add it, yeah, I'm gonna do it that way, just a second. Oh, you know what? Can I do a snap after the fact? Yeah, I can. All right, here we go, let's do it. Why not? We're already here. Let's see. I just have these Amazon snaps. Nothing fancy. Comes in this big pack. Let me get all the right pieces here. It's very unorganized and spilled all over the place. Come in. Almost, baby. I'm going to add a snap to my wallet. Oh, that's so cute. Isn't that a cute wallet? It's if really I can get cute. this out. All right. I so I need to find. I guess I'm just going to watch you. Okay. Can you close the door all the way, please? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to center this up, figure out where I want to put everything. <laughs> oh, is this Iris's wallet? Did somebody claim this? <laughs> All right, let's see. I'm going to mark my center here. Somebody says, hi, Charlotte. Jaded says, hi, Charlotte. Oh, Iris, I see it now. It hi. would look even better in my purse. <laughs> hi. Um, Charlotte says, hello. All right, so this is my center about right here. All right, so I want to align that right there. Okay, here we go. Fingers crossed. Let me get my hole punch too. All right, here we go. Let's try this out. So. I'm gonna put the top snap in first, which is this one. I'm a little nervous that I'm gonna mess this up. <laughs> don't do it, Mom, don't mess I it don't up. I don't want to. All right, about right there. Here we go. So that's gonna go there. And this is gonna go here, okay. It took me forever to remember how snaps go. And it's not that hard, it just took me a while. Let's see, which one's bigger, this one. All right, so I'm gonna hammer this here. No, that's the wrong piece, it goes this way. See, I still don't remember. On Charlotte. Now I got it. All right, this is going to be loud. Hi, Linda. Okay. Cool. So, I mean, why not? All right, so it just needs to go. I'm just kind of eyeballing it, make sure it's going to be going in the right spot. I don't want it to push in too far because it needs to have room for, you know, everything to be in there. Make sure I get this all straight and not crooked. Okay. All right. One of them said not loud. It was loud oh. here. <laughs> <laughs> 
I'm putting a snap in because I just thought it would be fun to have a snap. You do not have to do a snap, everybody. This is just... I think it would be better. I either think it's way. great either way. Yeah. It is a great design either way. I just thought it would be something fun to try. All right. And then this here. And this on top. Under. And this one. Last one. Okay, so if you're worried about it not being secure, add a snap. Add a snap. <laughs> ah, oh, that's cute. That's amazing. <laughs> and you could go ahead and add your rivets as well if you wanted a whole row. And so then you wouldn't even realize that that's a snap. But then it wouldn't fall open if you were worried about that. Oh my gosh, such a cute wallet. That's awesome. Here, you want to come say hi? All right. Everybody say hi to Charlotte here. Come here, Char. Hi. Hi, everybody. <laughs> there we go. That is the For Your Cheddar wallet. I absolutely love it. Yeah, there's so many different ways you can change this up if you wanted to do a little bit different. Um, it is such an ingenious design. It, I absolutely love it. Look at that. And that was super quick. That is a nice quick sew. That took me, what time is it? It's an hour and I kind of took my time. This could be an hour project easily. You could always snap it like, I don't know. Anyways. Um, someone everybody asked say what's hi. my middle name. My name is Isabel. Just so you know. Someone asked me what my middle name is. Her middle name is Isabel. Yeah. Charlotte Isabel Myers. All right, guys. That is our cute little wallet. I absolutely love it. Yay! All right, go support this designer. Go pick up the pattern. 15% <laughs> off code SIASWAG LIVE15. Um, go make some fun little wallets and post them on my Facebook and show me what you got. All right, everybody have a good night. Thank you for watching and we'll see you next time. See ya. Bye.